What's going on everybody? Pop Principal here with another Funko Pop review and today we have Man Thing aka Ted. Um now this is from the World by Night series. He was kind of the target throughout this uh particular show just because um how the bloodstone could, could ch help control beasts and animals and and otherworldly things. Um, they were trying to kind of tie those things in. If you haven't seen this, the actual uh, short film, I think you guys should go watch it to get filled in on all the little details. Um, but we didn't get a lot of screen time with him, but we got a quite a bit, um, quite a bit, probably about the same time as the werewolf, but just broken up in different in different uh, spaces in the film. Um, and we got to really kind of get to know him uh, at, at, at the end sequence of the a particular movie and he comes to find out he's not a bad guy he's not our man thing he's not he's not this evil character as you thought he was watching the promos and going into the show um he's actually much more uh uh gentle than you might think but at the same time he showed off some of his powers and he, and he can be extremely destructive as well so I definitely look forward to how they use this character if they do it all. Maybe this was just a one time thing. Um, I know DC is going to have some type of uh, man thing type of movie coming out at some point in time um, if we ever get to that point with DCU. So with that being said, let's get right into an out of box look at the man thing, a.k.a. Ted. And here we have an out of box look at Ted and uh Ted actually is a six inch pop from top to bottom. Um so he is a little bit bigger, which I think makes sense. I think it's only right that he's a six inch pop. Um and it it it, it looks a little bit better at scale. It would look kind of crazy to me if he was just a, another three or four inch pop. Um but you see um uh, let's get right into the details. There's a lot of details in this pop. I'm surprised he's not a glow. Uh, I think this would make sense if he had some type of glow form. Maybe they will come out with that um, particular version of him. Um, but you see all the little uh, swamp-like things uh, coming from his back and, and, and all the little, uh, looks like f flowers and things, not flowers, but dead flowers and twigs and things like that that are kind of in the details of this particular pop. He has... Um, those very large claws and uh, feet with the pointy uh, 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 claws as well, um, which I thought the coolest thing I thought about this particular pop was the actual bloodstone. They showed the bloodstone on his back, which was once that was removed, he kind of relaxed and turned into who he actually is as a character, which was much more laid back and not just tyrant, this evil tyrant on a rampage to kill everybody. Um, you see the, um, tentacle like face structure, uh, that, uh, is always, <laughs> it always looked kind of cool to me to, uh, see those type of things. And there's just so much detail in this pop. Um, and just, he definitely looks like he belongs in, uh, some type of uh, vegetation forest and, and, and uh, would fit right in and blend in. Um, and you do see that spring connecting the head to the body, um, which uh, I don't know. Hopefully that holds up over time, but it looks a little flimsy as you pick it up and, and hold it. It's not very flimsy. These aren't um, he's not going to be outside of his box much. Uh, so it should hold form for what he actually is. Or, or what what his actual shape is supposed to be, I should say. Um, so hopefully, uh, it over time it holds up. And I wonder if we'll get an actual exclusive uh, for this particular pop. I can definitely see them doing it, but um, only time will tell. So let's get right into a comparison shot of Ted. And being that I don't have uh, the other Man Thing um, character that. Funko has in the repertoire. I think it's a, I don't even think it's a six inch figure. I think it's a three inch figure. Um, if I'm not mistaken, um, I'm just going to compare him to the line. I don't, I don't think it kind of makes sense to show him up against other characters at this particular point. Um, maybe if they come out with, uh, more characters from the movie, which I don't think they would, but, um, when, when we get into the blade and 
the Moon Knight type of if those stories continue to develop, hopefully they have some characters I can actually bring into the fold a little bit more. But with that being said, with just another comparison shot of all the characters from Werewolf by Night that I am so glad to have in my collection and. I'm curious if Funko would do any exclusives with them, like I said before, or what they will actually do if they would just leave it at, as is thus far um, and move move on and move forward. So uh, with that being said, like, subscribe, tune in. Appreciate you guys for watching. Stay on the lookout for uh, the next review. Pop Principal out.